what are the battery current and the potential difference VA minus VB between points A and B when the switch in the figure is open and then when it's closed. So the circuit looks like this. We have a battery that is at 24 volts of EMF. And that battery is connected to two branches of resistors. So this first branch, we have um, two resistors there. The second branch, we also have two resistors. There is a switch that connects the branches. So we will label this point A right here. Here is the switch. The switch connects us to point B. And the resistors, I will call this R, this resistor R1, this resistor R2, this resistor R3, this resistor R4. And I notice the relationships between the resistors. R1 is a one ohm resistor. R2 is a three ohm resistor, which is three times R1, which I'll go ahead and call R1 R. R3 is also a three ohm resistor, which that is equal to three R. And R4 is a five ohm resistor, which I'll call five R. Now, the problem says we have to find the current generated by the battery and the potential difference between points A and B when the switch is open and when the switch is closed. So I'm gonna start off by, tr by looking at this when the switch is open. So I am going to take our circuit, copy it, and we're going to proceed with it on the next page. Okay, and so here is our circuit. And the first part is the switch is open. So when the switch is open, we really only have these two branches. So, and we need to find the current from our battery in this scenario and the potential difference from A to B. Yesterday when I started working on this, I started working by just um, looking at what the potential difference from A to B is, how to construct that. But I think I overlooked the fact that it said find the current from the battery, which we will need that anyway to find the potential difference from A to B. So this morning, I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna first start off by finding the current from the battery when the switch is open. Now, what we see here is we have um, two sets of resistors that, in, that are in parallel. And we could express this two sets of resistors in parallel by establishing a equivalent circuit between them. Now, in establishing an equivalent circuit between these two branches, that is going to allow us to pretty simply find the current from the power supply. So this is Kasai. This will be the equivalent resistor of two and three. And here's the equivalent resistor of one and four. And then we're going to take this equivalent resistor and we are going to make an equivalent resistor out of that. And again, the idea is once we have the single resistor, we could use Ohm's law to help us determine the current from the battery. And th that current from the battery, we can see branches between each of the branches. So I will call this I being the current from the battery. This first branch, I'll just call the current through branch A because it passes through point A. And the second branch, I'll call it the current through branch B because it uh, passes through point B. Now, 
this current I leaving the battery will eventually return back to the battery. And so I'm just breaking this down into our different equivalent sketches. And eventually we'll just have the single current of the battery to find. Now from this expression on the right, we could use Ohm's law, which says that the potential difference in uh, across our resistor, and actually let me just be more methodical. Um, I think I will call this point C and this point D. We'll call this point C, point D, point C, and point D. So actually using Kirchhoff's voltage rule, we would say the potential from C to D, which would be the potential across the battery, plus the potential from D to C is equal to zero because that is in a complete loop. Well, the potential across the battery is just the EMF we're given of 24 volts and the potential across the resistor. Well, if we are analyzing in this clockwise path, which we are from C to D, and then from D back to C, we know that the potential across the battery is going to be given as negative the product or the potential across the equivalent resistor will be negative the product of the current times the equivalent resistance, and that is equal to zero. So this is saying that we could find the current produced by the battery in this scenario, if we could find the equivalent resistance of our circuit. So let's go ahead and do that, find the equivalent resistance. Well, in finding the equivalent resistance, I'm gonna just kind of work backwards here. So we're gonna, if we look at this circuit, that is going to be two circuits in, in parallel with each other. And so I know that the equivalent resistance of these two circuits in parallel with each other will be the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals of each of the individual resistances. Now, this will just work out to be the product of the two equivalent resistances along the branches over the sum of the two equivalent resistances uh, between the branches. So this means that we have to find those equivalent resistances R1 and R4 and R2 and R3. So that means we're going to go back up to this diagram and seeing that R1 and R4 are in series, I know that the equivalent resistance is just the sum of the two. Now we said that R1 has a resistance of R and R4 has a resistance of 5R. So that equivalent resistance is 6R. And then we have to find the equivalent resistance of the branch A that contains resistors two and four. Now those two resistors are in series as, ooh, not two and four, two and three. So the equivalent resistance between resistor two and three. Those two resistors are in series. So again, we sum them. Resistor two has a value of three times resistor one and also resistor three has a value of three times resistor one. So the equivalent resistance of branch A is also 6R. So now that we found those equivalent resistances, we can plug them into this formula we have at the bottom. So we have the equivalent resistance of resistors one and four is 6R, of resistors two and three is 6R, and the sum of the two is 12R. We could simplify some R's, and then that ends up being 36 divided by 12. So the equivalent resistance 
of our circuit, 36 divided by 12, is 3. So 3R, which corresponds to 3 ohms. Now that we know the equivalent resistance, we could find our current, the current through our battery in this open scenario. So the current through our battery, we said is equal to the EMF of the battery over that equivalent resistance between our two branches of resistors, which is just the EMF of the battery over 3R. And I'll just say 1 third E over R. And I guess, um, I guess since we have some numbers, I think we said the battery was 24 volts, right? And the resistance, so that is three times one ohm. So that is equal to eight volts per ohm. And a volt per ohm is an amp. So that should be the current put out by the battery with the switch open.